reporting live from Woodbury News Studios. Just wanted to let you know, everyone, if you have not strapped your trailer or your parents or your tractor down, it may be too late at this point. Hey, please be careful for the flooding. You know what they say, um, turn around, don't drown, or either um, uh, uh, say goodbye so you don't die. Uh, that's the new one, but uh, on, uh, I want to take a moment and actually have a serious moment here. But, um, hey, listen, I'm being real serious. For everybody that I love that's watching, please be careful in this storm. Looks like this storm is going to last a long time, two or three days. I'm in Green Sea, South Carolina. I am watching the news, and I'm watching pecan trees just pop and drop everywhere. So you guys be careful, take care, and I am saying a prayer for all of you. I want to take just a minute and do that. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we ask that you just walk with us through this storm, that you be with us, that you wrap your arms around all of us and keep us safe in your arms. We love you. Thank you for your mercy, and God bless. Now, back to Woodbury Studios. I'm reporting live from Green Sea, South Carolina, Jim. Uh, looks like uh, we got uh, looks like we got a cat one here, and uh, it's apparently pretty strong. Uh, There's several leaves on the hood of my car, and we have debris in the area. Yes, we have debris. Um, if you would look back, uh, there are generators humming everywhere, and rednecks are panicking. Um, if you have not tied down the tin on your hog house. It is too late at this time. Uh, we ask that you please put all your lawn furniture in the house to keep it out of the neighbor's yard. Um, the wind is pretty strong here, Jim. I am currently blocked by this brick structure. Uh, let me walk out further into the storm to see if the wind is stronger. Uh, let's go to Sabrina on the west side of the yard. Y'all, it's rough over here. I, I, I don't know what's going on over there on the other side, but on this side, it's bad, I'm telling you. It's done blowed out four or five hairs of my weave. This is tragic. I gotta come in. Thank you, Sabrina. Well, Sabrina is apparently having some weave issues, and as she is doing that, we are going to remain here because I don't think she is able to talk during the uh, hair technicalities that she is having. However, I am sitting here watching dogwood trees and myrtlewood trees uh, blow in the wind. There is some debris just hit me in the head. A piece of, of limb just has fallen now and has hit me in the head. It may not be safe to be out here among these trees. So everybody uh, be safe and uh, I'm going to report back to you uh, in the studio, Jim. You have mail. As we continue our coverage of Hurricane Florence from uh, Green Sea, South Carolina, uh, here at Woodbury News, we ask that everyone please be careful and um, make sure you have plenty of cinder blocks and generators and um, please make sure that you are careful and don't blow up the trailer. All right now, well, we're going to wish for the best and uh, stand out here and... Um, Wow, it's really blowing out there, isn't it, Jim? I am waiting now for possibly uh, Sabrina's weave to come flying through the air, and I will reach out and grab that for her. Myrtle, if you see Sabrina's weave go by, grab it. She done lost it on the east side of the yard. Oh, tragedies of a storm, folks. Tragedies of a storm. Everyone, uh, 
Be careful out there. Okay, on a serious note. Everybody listen. Be careful. The storm's gonna last like, I don't know, three, four days. Uh, looks like, um, seriously, may last like three or four days. I have no idea. But, um, right now, Marie Ellison, how are you gonna give me a thumbs up? You, I haven't seen that you got on I-95 and you got out of Dodge. <sighs> hey, thanks, Tiffany. Love you and, um, Justin very much. Hope you're well. Amber, thank you for the prayers. I appreciate it. In Wyoming. Hey, thanks everybody for the prayers. We really do appreciate it. Right now it's kind of weird. It's it's um it's tropical storm stuff right now. But um you can see I guess you can see. But um Emma, hey Emily Pearson, hey Angela Bailey, tell everybody at the office I said hello, I love them. Um, I just did a live update on the RU. I had to put on my serious side and do a um, update on the RU page. But um, anyway, there's not much traffic going on here. Everybody is uh, literally kind of hunkered down. So all the alcoholics have loaded up with beer, and all the sober folks are just uh, got a bunch of coffee and are praying. It comes in bands, just like, put, hey Jeff Moody, I will. It comes in bands, people are, uh, it's, it's like, um, this is the weirdest storm because it's lasted so long, it's supposed to be here like forever. Um, look at Marie Ellison laughing at me in Savannah. How you gonna chicken out on the East Coast like, how you just gonna leave Myrtle Beach? <laughs> I don't blame you darling, I would have left too, I understand. <clears throat> But um, thank you, Stacy. I will stay safe. I love you too, honey. But um, it's with it uh, wind and um, rain right now. But I don't know how. I do not know how, other than the Lord's will, that we still have power. Um, however, let me show you the redneck generation system that we have going on. That is the two generators that I have cobbled up. For the storm we were ready to go now let me tell you how bougie i am this one is just for the air conditioner <laughs> i don't care if i am i might be nasty and thirsty but i will not be hot i can't handle it this one is for the electricity this one is for the air conditioner i can't stand the heat um <clears throat> Anyway, uh, Sandra, you're exactly right. Thank God for the power. I tell you what, speaking of that, this is a good example of the Lord's power. So everybody, <laughs> remember who we're dealing with. But um, it comes in bands. It's like slow, then soft, then slow, then soft. But anyway, um, I'm going to run in the house here and get some bacon and eggs. <clears throat> before the lights go out. So let's check in one more time with Woodbury, um, Woodbury Studios. Uh, if I could get Myrtle back in the studio, I would appreciate it. Uh, what we are having here is a catastrophe. A cat astrophe. It is tragic. The wind is blowing and I have found Sabrina's weave. Please let everybody know we have found Sabrina's weave. Thank goodness in heaven. Because that would have been worse than the storm. If she'd have come back, you cannot mess with a black woman's hair. It just it's, 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 it's catastrophic. Catastrophic. What's she saying? Catastrophic. Anyway, if you would look, all the cannon bushes here are blow to the east. That means the wind is blowing from the west. Yeah, right, or the east. The wind is blowing very badly. And apparently, there are nobody else around. So, if you are finding yourself in the storm and we call 911, Ain't nobody gonna answer. I called 911 a minute ago and she said, hello, 
This is 911. What is your emergency? And I told her, I said, we lost our weed. She said, that is tragic. I understand the devastation of the emergency. But look at him. We told you to evacuate and that we would not come and get your food self if you got in an emergency. So, idiot, go find your own weed. You out of luck. Anyway, um, we are signing off for this moment. We will check back in an hour or so. Love everybody. Y'all have a good one. Be careful and safe.